Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the Longevity products, Longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. Our number 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the Longevity products or want to purchase any of the Longevity products that you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. That's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase... Longevity products off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website as well. For a one-time $25 fee, you could start a Longevity business. You can earn thank you checks associated with having your own business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. It's an ideal business if you want to work out of your home, if you're an entrepreneur and you want to start your own business for a one-time $25 fee. You can get your products at the wholesale price, start yourself a business, earn Thank you checks, as well as enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. Call uh, call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, or sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com for more information. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls at the bottom of the hour. We're talking about the skin. We're talking about alpha hydroxy acids. Most of you guys have probably heard of alpha hydroxy acids, although couldn't say that about 25, 30 years ago. It's only been the last couple of decades that alpha hydroxy acids have become mainstream. Most of the research on alpha hydroxy acids and skin health is done on something called glycolic acid. Glycolic acid, like all the alpha hydroxy acids, help the body handle energy. They're involved in how the body processes energy. That's why they're found in sugary foods and sugary substances, sugary plants. They're found in all plants and fruits. They're called fruit sugar acids. When you, uh, they don't have a lot of benefit when you take them internally. The body breaks them down pretty quickly. But when you put them on top of the skin, you get wonderful skin benefits. All that energy that is uh, trapped in these alpha hydroxy acids is transferred to the cells of the skin. So you put it on top of your skin, that energy gets transferred to the cells of your skin. That means healthier skin. All that energy that gets transferred to the the cells that uh, make your skin strong and youthful and healthy, all that energy is turned into fibers and movement and dynamism and processes and chemistry and just upregulates. My favorite word in biochemistry, upregulates all the biochemical processes of the viable, the living skin cells. Not all the skin cells are living. It's only the cells at the bottom that are really living. Cells at the top of the skin are in progressive states of mortality, or they're gradually dying. They're pretty, actually, they're pretty much dead. The only living cells in the skin 
in the surface of the skin or at the very, very bottom of the surface of the skin. So the surface of the skin is made up of layers, and the bottom two layers are the only places we have living cells. They're called the squamous cells and the basal cells. And everybody probably has heard of basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma. Basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinomas are the only kind of skin cancer because skin cancer only affects living cells. All cancers only affect living cells. These cells at the bottom are not only the cells that get cancer, they're also the cells that are responsive to alpha hydroxy acids. And when you uh, uh, put alpha hydroxy acids on the surface of the skin, trans, uh, send energy down to the bottom, couple things happen. Number one, when you send energy down to the bottom, the cells at the top kind of flop off. All that energy causes a shaking. Alpha hydroxy acids cause a shaking at the skin surface. Basically what's happening when you put alpha hydroxy acids on the skin surface, all that energy which comes from the sun, it's all sunlight energy ultimately, all that energy that's trapped in the alpha hydroxy acid, the sunlight energy that's trapped in the glycolic acid has a couple effects. For one thing, it vibrates really fast. And that vibration it's actually a quantum vibration. You can't really see it vibrating, but at the electron level, it's shaking and vibrating. And all that shaking and vibrating do a couple of things. For one thing, they, uh, uh, they loosen the glue that holds the dead skin cells in place. And that loosening of the glue, which is really kind of a quantum phenomenon, it's really kind of taking place at the very tiniest levels, this loosening of the glue causes the surface cells to kind of flop off and drop off. They're, they're flopping off and dropping off anyway. When cells flop off and drop off anyway, that's called desquamation. And desquamation is a normal part of how the body processes, of how skin is processed. Cells move upwards towards the top, they flop off, that's called desquamation. Exfoliation, however, which can be accomplished in a lot of different ways, but I like alpha hydroxy acids for a couple of reasons, I'll tell you that, but then here in a sec. Um, anyway, that, uh, that shaking causes the glue to, to kind of loosen up and the cells flop off. That's what we call exfolia, exfoliation, removing of leaves. It comes from the, the kind of phenomena that occurs when you trim your leaves on your, uh, on your plants at home, on your bush at home. Trim the leaves, leaves get back, grow back bushier. Likewise, when you exfoliate the skin, the skin cells grow back bushier. You get more foliage on the surface of your skin. That means a healthier, more resilient skin barrier. That skin barrier is really important for keeping moisture in, internalized. I like alpha hydroxy. There's lots of ways you can exfoliate. You can exfoliate with a washcloth. You can exfoliate with a dry brush. You can exfoliate with microdermabrasion, as we've said so many times. There's lots of ways to exfoliate the skin. Enzymes will exfoliate the skin. I like exfoliating, exfoliating the skin with acid. Why? Because with acid, you restore the skin back to its healthy pH. Now, the skin will, has its own ways of restoring itself. Yes, that is true. However, when we have eczema, when we have psoriasis, when we have even dry skin, aging skin, when the barrier of the skin is broken, when the barrier of the skin is somehow not as strong or as healthy as it should be, the skin is not, the pH of the skin is not where it needs to be. Skin diseases in general, skin pathology in general, has an alkalinizing effect on the skin. Or actually, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe the alkalinizing effect leads to skin diseases. But there's, I'm not sure which came first, the chicken or the egg, but they're linked to each other. The alkalinization is associated with skin illness, skin disease. So when you exfoliate with an acid, not only are you exfoliating, but you're giving the skin a jolt of acidity, which it loves. You're giving the skin, you're, you're helping the skin adjust its pH to where it needs to be. There's no such thing as pH balance, by the way. That's another silly term that I hear a lot. You don't balance pH. Every, P, every organ of the body has a system of the body has a pH it likes to be at. But it's not a balancing question. There's no balance involved. You want to P, the pH of the skin to be right around uh, uh, 4.5 to 5.5. If you have psoriasis, it's probably going to be maybe 6, maybe 6.5. And all the products we use are alkaline. For the most part, most of the, the vast majority of products that we use, the lotions, creams, soaps, cleansers, etc., they're alkalinizing on the skin. You already got an alkalinizing condition. You don't, want to, you don't want to put alkaline on your skin anyway, but especially if you already have an alkalinizing condition on the skin. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Okay, 
We are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. If you want to purchase longevity products, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com are your home. And you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben phone team off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Also want to remind you to check out our new uh, our truth treatment products, including coming up, our new biomimetic priming mist made with fulvic minerals, fulvic plant-derived minerals, soil-based minerals. Fulvic minerals are technically called polyelectrolytes. They're actually compressed minerals, compressed electrolytes, so they form a chain. Poly means many. Polyelectrolytes are like a complex of electrolytes, a chain of electrolytes that have remarkable, incredible electrical energy, and this is what our plant-derived minerals are from longevity. Fulvic minerals are uh, the, the water-soluble portion in the, of the soil, of the minerals that are in the soil, and they are incredibly beneficial and helpful for skin health. Not like vitamin C and not like vitamin A, but they will improve the penetration of vitamin C and vitamin A, and they will also, fulvic minerals have uh, wonderful anti-inflammatory and soothing effects, and also they can help, uh, help facilitate healing as well. Truth treatment products are all available at truthtreatments.com, including our, our new biomimetic priming mist, which will be out in a couple weeks, as well as our Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Transdermal, or Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Retinol 5% Gel. Okay, so we're talking about uh, alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic acid, glycolic acid. I, I, like I typically will use glycolic acid as a representative of all the alpha hydroxy acids. It's the one that most of the research has been done on. You put your alpha hydroxy acids on top of the skin, you get this quantum shaking, this electrical shaking of the glue that holds dead skin cells in place. You lower the pH of the skin to where it would rather be, or at least where it gets invigorated, and... Most especially, most importantly, most fascinatingly, the way I look at it, is you actually activate the cells at the very lowest levels of the skin, the cells in the dermis, the very, very lowest level of the skin. These are the cells called the fibroblasts that make collagen, make elastin. Elastin is like collagen. It's a kind of elastic protein. We don't talk about elastin as much as we talk about collagen, but it's very important. Elastin is what gives your skin its... Uh, it's kind of bouncy, elastic nature. When you're a kid, you pull your skin up, you know, and it bounces back up, bounces back down. But when you're, as you get older, that doesn't happen as quickly. That's a sign that your elastin is breaking down. Elastin comes from the fibroblasts, like hyaluronic acid and collagen do. And all of these fibers and the hyaluronic acid itself is what makes the skin so beautiful when you're young. If you look at a kid and you look at his, look at your kid's cheeks, they're just so squeezable. Not so much as we get older. You know, nobody wants to squeeze, you know, grandma and grandpa's skin as much as they, as much as you do a, a little kid's skin. It's that health, that look of, that look of, uh, of thickness and solidity and robustness. All that comes from hyaluronic acid, collagen, and elastin. It's not the skin cells that do that. That's why most wrinkle creams are really silly. Most wrinkle creams sit on the skin surface, have no effect at the fibroblast level, no effect at the dermis level. If your skin product really had an effect at the dermis level where the fibroblasts are, guess what? You could use it to heal because that's what healing is. Healing is the fibroblasts cranking out fibers. So if your fancy schmancy Cindy Crawford wrinkle cream from the melon that grows off the coast of France, which they buy from New Jersey, by the way, the melon that grows off the coast of France that this brilliant doctor found, if it really went down to the dermis and did anything to the fibroblast, which it doesn't, but if it really did, you could use it to heal your cuts and scrapes and burns. Can you? No, because it doesn't. It's a scam. Like 99.99% of skincare out there, it's a scam. You got to get into that fibroblast, and guess what? Alpha hydroxy acids can do that. Glycolic acid can do that. Can glycolic acid help accelerate wound healing? You better believe it can. But it is a little acidic, it's an acid, so you're not going to want to put it on a wound, but theoretically, technically, it would stimulate wound healing, absolutely. 
It turns on the fibroblast. There's so many good things, there's so many great things about alpha hydroxy acids and about glycolic acid. Less wrinkles, less fine lines, softer skin, more youthful skin. This is all about hormesis, by the way. The phenomena that stress at just the right amount, Goldilocks stress, not too much, not too little, not too high, not too low. Goldilocks stress, technically it's called U stress, EU stress. Goldilocks stress or E stress can induce an adaptive response and you don't need high doses to do it. In fact, you want to do it at low doses, low intensity, not high intensity. High intensity will burn the skin. It's controlled intensity, controlled wounding. If you want to uh, get uh, maximum benefits from exfoliation, you can do it two ways. You can use your alpha hydroxy acids and cleansers. I like it in cleansers for a couple reasons. They, they make alpha hydroxy acid creams and lotions. I think you should use it in cleansers and toners. I'll tell you why. If you're going to get some stimulation, if you really have a stimulating ingredient, if you have a stimulating product, you don't want it sitting on the skin. In fact, if it's going to sit on the skin, some of that stimulation has to be removed because it, it, you can't, you'll overstimulate. You can't control the stimulation if it stays on the skin. So with a cleanser and toner, you don't have to worry about that because with a cleanser, you're kind of washing the cleanser off. And with a toner, you're sort of wiping it off if you do your toner correctly. So alpha hydroxy acids, in my opinion, belong in cleansers and toners. That's where I put, when I'm formulating, that's where I put my alpha hydroxy acids, in cleansers and toners, not in topical products for the most part. Although, if you have just the right amount, even in a topical product, you can get some, some low-level stimulation. But to really do it right, you want it in a cleanser and you want it in a toner. And you want to know what that pH of that cleanser and toner is also. Sometimes companies will tell you 10% this and 5% that. That's not as important. 10% glycolic acid. You can make a, you can make a 50% glycolic, a 10% glycolic acid stronger than a 50% glycolic acid if you buffer it, if you add neutralizers to it. You can change the pH with chemistry. So it's the pH, it's not the concentration. Don't be fooled by products where they'll tell you how much alpha hydroxy acid is in a product. You want to know the pH, the acidity. And oftentimes they don't tell you. Most times they don't tell you the pH or the acidity. So you can do your exfoliation treatments in two different ways. You can do them at home, and I recommend people do them every couple of days, three days, especially as you get older, four days, every four days, depending on your skin type. You don't want to irritate. It's controlled wounding, remember? So you don't want to irritate. And then you can also go get a more intense treatment once a month. If you want to do it right, do it once a month or even once every couple of weeks at an esthetician's salon or spa. Get an esthetician or get a, a salon or spa and somebody who can watch you, because you, you want somebody monitoring you. Uh, it's not rocket science, you know. You could probably do it at home if you had a strong enough solution. The real strong solutions are hard to get. Um, and estheticians, estheticians know what they're doing. Go to, your, go to your local esthetician. Support your local esthetician. I typically will recommend an esthetician before I recommend a doctor when it comes to helping people with their skin health. With skin health. Estheticians, because they don't have drugs or surgery, are forced to use intelligence. There's two ways of taking care of uh, skin. You can use drugs or surgical procedures, or you can use intelligence. I'm not talking about cancer here. And estheticians tend to use intelligence. Doctors tend to use uh, uh, drugs. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we have lines open at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a second. We do have lines open for you. From... The Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, Faulty Cellular Membranes Mix, uh, Faulty Cellular Membrane Mix linked to Parkinson's disease. The cell membrane, the outer part of the cell, is a very underappreciated slender slice of tissue that uh, has a huge, huge impact on health. It is hundreds of times thinner than a human hair or than a piece of notebook paper, yet this incredibly tiny little slice of atoms, basically, and molecules, is the key player in whether we are going to be healthy or not. Not the genes, the membrane. 
the cell membrane, not the genes. The cell membrane tells the genes what to do via the stuff inside the cell. The outside part of the cell is an information processor. It's a computer chip. The outside part of a cell functions to process information to tell the inside what's happening on the outside. And via this information, our genes change for better or worse. This, uh, from this uh, article from the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science, reading, reading the article, working with lab-grown human brain cells, Johns Hopkins researchers report they have uncovered a much sought-after connection between one of the most common genetic mutations in Parkinson's disease and the formation of fatty plaques in the brain thought to contribute to the destruction of motor neurons that characterize the disease. They found the mutation. They found the connection. What is it that's causing the mutation? Well, guess what? What do you think is causing the, the, the mutation? It's the fatty membrane. What's more, the mutation causes a change in fat production or fat uh, metabolism, and that can cause the degradation of cells that lead to Parkinson's. It goes both ways. Bottom line here is the cell membrane tells the genes what's happening. The cell membrane depends on fats. The cell membrane especially depends on a fat called cholesterol. Between the fats, essential fatty acids and saturated fats and cholesterol, this fatty complex, lecithin, is also part of this fatty complex at the level of the uh, cell membrane. This is how we're healthy or not healthy at that it's so cool that that little tiny little slender tiny little slice of tissue has an impact on every single health challenge you can name. It is every single health challenge you can name. When we say all disease is cell disease, all cell disease starts at the level of the cell membrane. Because the cell membrane is reading the environment that the cell is sitting in. That's why it's the environment that we want to focus on. The cells are sitting in this watery milieu, this watery environment. And this watery environment has nutrients or it doesn't. It has oxygen or it doesn't. It has toxicity or it doesn't. If it's toxic, if it's robbed of oxygen, this watery environment, or if it is, um, if it is malnourished, if there's not enough nutrients in there, the membrane, cell membrane will read that. It will read the condition of lack of nutrition, lack of oxygen or toxicity, and respond accordingly. We'll send messages accordingly to the genetics. If it's too toxic or too starved or too suffocated, it'll just, it'll just uh, explode. It'll send a message. This is the most unbelievable thing. If the watery milieu that the cell is sitting in is interpreting the environment as not conducive to life, it will send a self-destruct signal to the genes. It'll say, look, it's not happening out here. Time to go. Time to leave. We don't want to be reproducing it's just the situation is not good, and it will send a self-destruct signal. The membrane does this based on reading the environment. To the inside part of a cell, it self-destructs. Another thing that could happen is the cell membrane can say, hey, wait a minute, there's not a lot of oxygen here. we got to figure out another way to survive. And it will send a message to the genes that will make the genes grow like cra uh, make, the, make the genes produce proteins that will make the cell grow like crazy and divide like crazy. That's called cancer another membrane phenomena. It's all a cell membrane phenomena. Why is that important? Because it means you've got to be eating your essential fatty acids. It means you've got to make sure you have enough cholesterol. It means the last thing you ever want to take is a statin drug. It means that you want to make sure that your uh, gallbladder is working correctly and your liver is making enough bile to uh, be able to absorb your fats. It means, so many things it means here, it means you want to make sure you get vitamin E because vitamin E and uh, um, other uh, fat-soluble antioxidants that are found in plants and vegetables, these protect the cell membrane, especially vitamin E though. They protect the cell membrane. They keep the cell membrane from being damaged. It's all about the membrane, people. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's see if... Uh, I'll do one more. Uh, we'll go to the phones. We'll save this for tomorrow. I got a c couple cool things about cannabis. You know, there's a relationship between coffee and cannabis. Do you know? We'll talk about this tomorrow, hopefully, if I don't forget. Uh, coffee actually will improve your body's ability to detoxify itself from cannabis. This is an interesting article. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Time to hit the phones. 844-236-6010. Let's go to Keith. 
in New Jersey. Good morning, Keith. How you doing, buddy? Hello, Ben. I'm doing real good. How about yourself? Doing good. Thank you. What's going on today? How can we help you? Yeah, ben, I have uh, two questions for you on saunas. Yes. The first one is uh, if you're in the sauna, say, for 15, 20 minutes, what do you recommend for the uh, maximum temperature to be? It doesn't go that way. Go by how you feel. Uh, you, want, okay. it, it, you want a little bit. You want to be pulling toxins out of there, and that does require you know, a certain amount of heat. Uh, but obviously, you know, I don't know if you heard, there was a famous case where a guy uh, killed a, a few people. He was a uh, James Ray, the guy from The Secret. He ended up, he, he did a sweat, it wasn't a sauna, it was a, I think it was a, a sweat is the same as a sauna, actually. And he ended up killing a couple people along, you know, that's a, a sad story. But the point is, is that uh, you can overheat the body, absolutely. However, if you do it correctly, uh, saunas, particularly far infrared saunas, if you've ever heard of those, they are yes. absolutely spectacular for detoxification. I'm, I'm a big believer in far infrared saunas. Everybody feels better, especially if they're dealing with uh, fibromyalgia, chronic pain kinds of things. It loosens everything up. In addition to detoxifying and helping toxins come out of the body, it kind of loosens things. When we're, on, when we're in a lot of duress, our body will, uh, will micro, our muscles will micro contract. Our muscles and our connective tissue will micro-contract. When the connective tissue becomes toxic, it will become less flexible. It will pull on the muscle. So by going in a far infrared sauna, you can sort of melt your connective tissue the way, this is kind of a yucky metaphor, but just think about how, you know, when you cook a steak, the connective tissue melts, right? But it's okay. the same idea. You're not cooking, obviously, but you're, the heat has a, dis, has a softening effect on your connective tissue, and that can be wonderful for pain, for autoimmune issues. It just, it's great. And then there's the whole detoxification element. So I'm a big believer yeah. in saunas, far infrared saunas. What else, what so else you got, basically boys? basically whatever temperature you're comfortable with then. E, not comfortable, whatever temperature you're slightly uncomfortable with. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? You, you want a little bit yeah. of discomfort there because your body's working a little bit, but... Uh, when you get out, oh my God, you feel amazing. Don't not don't overdo it though. Did you have something else for right. us? Yes, I do. I also uh, I had read an article about saunas where they were comparing uh, the near infrared lamp saunas and the far infrared. The far saunas. infrared. Look, we got to take a break. Hang on, we'll we'll finish up when we come back. Don't go away, okay, Keith? All right, I'm pharmacist Ben. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We'll be back after this. On the bright side, got lines open, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Keith in New Jersey. Got lines open, 844-236-6010. Keith, you there? Yes, I am, Ben. Where, where in Jersey are you, by the way? I'm in Absecon, which is uh, right near Atlantic City. Okay, gotcha. Have I talked to you before? Have we talked? Yeah, I talked to you probably about a week or two weeks okay, ago. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, so saunas, I'm a big believer in saunas. The, uh, the, de the detoxification and the muscle relaxation are really helpful. There's different saunas, as you were saying before we went to break. There's the far infrared and the, and the near infrared, and then there's a, the plain old um, wood-burning sauna, the typical traditional sauna. Um, is that what you're asking about, the different saunas? Yeah, well, the second question was going to be, if you spend too much time in the far infrared saunas, should there be a concern about the uh, electromagnetic field that you're? Uh, you know, posed? I've heard that uh, it's not probably not great to sit there with all that electromagnetic energy. But our whole world is electromagnetic energy. You know, right. it, uh -huh. you're not going to. We live in an electro. We live in an electromagnetic field. We are electromagnetic beings, and the electromagnetic pollution that has. Uh, that has saturated the planet in the last 120 years has got to be, it can't be good for us, right? So what oh, are you going right. to do? It, it's probably not, you know what, if you, the near infrared, there's two, there's uh, two uh, infrared saunas. The far infrared, which you're talking about, that works with light, a special kind of light, light that's in what's called the far infrared range. The light's a spectrum. There's the ultraviolet on one side of the spectrum. There's the infrared on the other side of the spectrum. The infrared, you heard Roy G. Biv, probably red, orange, yellow, blue, green, indigo, violet. That's the spectrum. The red is way, way, way in the red, and as opposed to the violet, which is way, way, way on the other end. Anyway, the uh, far infrared uses light, right? The okay. near infrared uses a combination of light and heat. So you don't have as much uh, of the light, you don't have as much of the light energy. It, it, right. You get less EMF with a near infrared sauna. 
So, you know, a lot of people are doing the near, near infrared saunas more than, you know, these days. It used to be the far infrared. I don't, I'm not even sure when the near infrared came out, but when I was in pharmacy school and afterwards, people were talking about the far infrared saunas. So if you have a choice, I'd go with the near infrared rather than the far. You know, if you have a choice, it's probably not a good idea to sit in a EMF box. But the whole idea of, like, trying to protect yourself from EMFs, that's like spitting into the wind. That ain't happening. Right, right. You know, we're, we're, de- we're messed up that way. However, using nutrition can help the body handle a lot of that EMF. And that's one of the reasons why nutrition, I believe, why nut- just one of the reasons why nutrition is, is fundamental to all of these ideas of toxification. You know, we live just in a messed up world. We live in a toxic world. It's just right, there's no, the no water, way, the no air, the... Around it. There's no way to get around it. You know, there's microwaves everywhere. I had, a, I had a conversation with a guy a couple of weeks ago. He got mad at me because he was talking about microwaves, how bad microwaves are. I'm like, of course they're bad. But there's so much bad stuff everywhere. You can't freak out about it because cortisol is really... Cortisol is really what's going to kill you. Your stress hormone. So you just do what you could do, you know... Don't expose yourself if you don't need to. Like, get a near-infrared sauna instead of a far-infrared sauna. Use your nutritional supplements. Calm down. Don't eat any. Don't eat the corporate swill. You know. I mean, there's ways that we can protect ourselves from all of these things, and the gnashing of teeth and the, you know, the moaning and groaning and, and, and freaking out about all the stuff that's in the air and the water. It just doesn't do you any good. All right. You know? There's no sense freaking out over the. There's no sense freaking out about it. Exactly. It's there. We live in this world, and that's the world we've done. It doesn't have to be that way. There's, there's abundance everywhere at every turn if we play ball you know, with the planet, if we listen to the planet, just like if we listen to our bodies. It's the same idea. You, you listen to the planet. You listen to the environment. You listen to your body. You listen. You follow what's right. happening, and, and that's really what we should be doing. Anyway, that's a whole, that's a whole philosophical topic. Did I help you there? Okay. Yes, I, yes you did, Ben. Thanks a lot. Right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. All right, let's go to Lisa in Michigan. Good morning, Lisa. How you doing? Good morning. I called the other day um, to tell you that my cellular issue, the doctors classified as poly room. Um, poly oh, yeah. Backup. You're my new yeah, listener. Yeah. So, You're my new listener. You're a yes, new listener, too, I, right? I am. I'm what do you think? I'm a caller. <laughs> well, well, okay, that's um, good. Yeah, I didn't know that there was a surleave. In fact, you know, you talk fast, and I listened, and it was not a good morning for me. But I the surleave, so I looked it up. I found it on the website. The what? What did you? Where, what's that word you're using? The survey? No. What was the cleanse you told me? Surleave. Oh, Swerovi. Okay, S U E R O, S U E R O V I V. Yeah. Yes, I found Swearing. it, and I, okay. I found it on Longevity, so I'm so glad. I didn't know about Jordan, and um, so I've listened to all the YouTube things about that. I would like to start on the second level, if you think that's okay. I've done a master yeah. cleanse in the past. You sound great. You, you, you sound like a woman who knows what she's doing. I say go go all out. Do you, if you, so, if you, okay, I didn't want to start on the third level because he said that's kind of, you know. But You're but just my of kind of pain, client. You're going you're gonna to do okay. great. You're going to do great. Yes, Just I go know. all out. Yes. I, could, I could tell yes. already. You're, I, I, you know what? I can tell you're already starting to get healed. You're already yes. starting, oh, absolutely. right? I can tell. Yes. I can tell just from the last week since we've talked. Good for you. Yes. I love it. Yes. I love it. You, so we're going to make you a case study. Why don't you send me an, e, send me an email to ben uh-huh. at ksco.com. That's K for King, S for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar, dot com. Uh-huh. And then put your name on there. Uh, say Lisa from Michigan. And then, uh-huh. and then put your phone number, and I'll call you back, okay, I will. and you and I will, okay. will work together. And I'm going to show you how easy, yes. easy this can be, and we'll make you into a case study. Okay? okay. Nobody has to suffer because... with polymyalgia, rheumatica, or rheumatoid, or autoimmune, or anything else. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, no, that's fine. I mean, and I would love that. Um, and also, um, this is just, I'm just going to mention this to you because I believe my sister's listening, and she's going to do the same protocol she has on that. Hello. She has MS, and um, but my questions were: um, the dose of enzymes you said to take is that 100 pounds of body weight? You said take them on an empty stomach; it will control the pain. The pain yeah. is excruciating. My doctor started for you. Me, um, for you, the pain's excruciating for me. For, you? for me, for me, for all, me, all, for, for me, everything. Yeah. Everything that's true about you is going to be true about her, first of all. She has the exactly. same condition you have. Okay, good. Yeah, so the, exactly, so the, and that's what I've told her. We've talked about. So oh, the that's enzymes, beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to help yeah, both of you. The, We're going to change both yeah. your lives. The enzymes, the enzymes it, you uh, have to dose. Stomach. 
well, there's two ways to take them with food and on an empty stomach. On an empty mm-hmm. stomach, they'll help mm-hmm. you with your pain. So here's the deal with enzymes. You want to do something called functional dosing. Functional dosing is where you take a, a dose and then you increase that dose and you note your results from each dose and mm-hmm. you note where you no longer get increased benefits when you increece the dose. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I always have a hard time yeah. explaining that. Does that make sense? Seriously. Oh, absolutely. That... Okay. Mm-hmm. So you no, inc- seriously, it's, it's okay. perfect. Okay. It's called functional dosing, and I always have a hard time explaining it, but it's, it's really, uh, that's the way you want to dose probiotics. That's the way you want to dose enzymes. That's the way you want to dose a lot of things. So that's the ideal way to do it. So see where you're at. Find that sweet spot for you. It may actually vary day to day, depending on your condition. Mm-hmm. So you're just going to have to find where, you're, you find where you're at a little bit. Uh, but whatever you do is going to, you're going to get benefit from whatever you do. Now, there's a lot, a lot more. Enzymes need to be activated with uh, apple cider vinegar or something acidic. Um, so mm-hmm. you might want to swig a little apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is a great tonic in general. You might want to get on the Fucoid Z. The Fucoid Z mm-hmm. also. But, but send me an email because there's a lot, and I want to I I really give you some good attention here because I can tell that you're going to be a good client and a good patient. So, and okay. I, want to, I, want to, I want you to see so you can pay it forward and your sister to see and everybody listening to see as well how easy this can be and how you do not have to suffer and how doctors can do nothing for this. But you can do it all yourself. All right. Well, I've done a cleanse in the past, the master cleanse, so I know this works because I was having some issues with the fibromyalgia thing. My other question was, would the CM product help? Yeah, the, the CM product the will help. The CM product okay. will help for sure. The reason I'm asking is because the pain is so excruciating. Yeah. I'm on prednisone. When that starts to wear off and I've lessened yeah. the dose, I've yeah. only had the one prescription. You're going to have severe it pain. rushing back. Yeah, you're going to have it severe. Like, You've been suppressing yeah. it like a, think of a mouse trap. You know, you've been suppressing yeah. the pain like a mouse trap. And now you take your yeah. hand, off, take the, right, take the switch off the mouse yeah. trap. Yeah. You get all that pressure. And so it's going to be bad when you get off the prednisone. However, you can mitigate some of the discomfort and pain if you do other things, food especially. That's what I'm trying to do before I have to take one another prescription of prednisone. I'm trying to control the pain so that if I come up, okay. you know, I, I, that's what I've got to do. My other thing, my three things was the, the uh, enzymes on an empty stomach. Yeah. Uh, how much can I, can I start taking to to control the pain? You said the other one was I want to do the second start on the second level of the cleanse. Yeah. And the third thing was a CM product, which you said might help. And yeah. my, besides my sister's MS, which she's gonna, I know it's the same thing we have. Same um, exact thing. System. Yours is in the joints. Yeah. Hers is in the nerves. Same thing. Same yeah. thing. The other thing is my dad. About six weeks ago, um, he's seventy five. I think seventy six. Um, about five years ago, he started having troubles with his heart and he had a heart valve replacement, that kind of thing, um, since my mom died. But the um, the main thing for him is I heard you talk to a guy yesterday. That Lisa, I got about 10 I got like 15 seconds. Lisa, I only got about 15 yep. seconds. I hate to my do this. My dad's gallbladder was taken out with gangrene, if you could speak on that today or tomorrow. Call, yeah, call us back tomorrow. Remind me. I, I wish I had more time. Okay. I just got to go. Thanks, Lisa. That's fine. Appreciate yeah, it. I, God bless. Send, him, right. send me an email. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, wonderful beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.